etchings. I start writing perched, waist deep on a Bahamian sandbar, tracing letters in azure blue surf, the letters momentary wisps on an endless swelling tide. Letters, words, trace back to shore, rising tide chases sand-traced stanzas, leaving behind smeared blurs. Chasing the tide, I take my words away from waves and croach, writing more quickly, now more furious, challenging each crashing wave to catch my lettered trails. My poem continues from surf to sand clouds, chopping chopped fine by turboprop turns, tracing thoughts into cool vapor mist left floating in midair. My poem lies dormant now, chilled by mundane gray and skyline smog. I try to cut letters from the soot and smoke only to see them crumble like ash. Evelyn sees me, grabs my hand, cleaning away the dust and grime. Daddy, Daddy, follow me. I know where you can write. She leads me away from the concrete and steel to a small city park, a sandbox nestled in trees that lets sunlight through the blanket of gray. Daddy, try this. She hands me a freshly fallen branch. I write in the sand, circling around us until, entrapped, my daughter claps and twirls. The poem ends briskly at sunset when cold shivers come from the Pacific shore. Strolling lovers pause by the sand-etched stanzas as they are slowly whisked away by a moonlit winter breeze. Mm -hmm. <laughs>